What is going on, Charles Botenston? And we are not going to be going live anymore. Um, so I actually got a little bit 1% better. I actually hired a, a YouTube consultant uh, yesterday. A little bit pricey, but it was a one-hour consultation. He actually went a little bit overboard, and he said a lot of things. And one of them is actually in regards to getting a better YouTube channel and more subscribers and more views and more followers. Essentially, what I was doing is not the right way to do it. He just totally picked picked the entire channel apart. The tags, the description, the everything, the video, the content going live. Uh, he just went into all the analytics. So today we're gonna be talking about, for the last time, this is actually gonna be obviously up uploaded, you obviously know that. Today we're gonna be talking about stepping from behind the suit. This is actually something that I got from Frederick Eklund about three or four years ago. Frederick Eklund is a real estate agent here in New York City and he coined I don't want to say coin the term, but he essentially said it and then he referred back to it multiple times because a lot of people, he's obviously pretty ridiculous on the, on the TV show, Million Dollar Listing. And he always goes into just this, this, he does a high kick or a high voice or he just, he brings up a joke that you're like, ooh, wow, damn, okay, that's cool. On TV to millions of people and to your client, he went there. So you start thinking about it and you're like, eh, is it, does it work? Is it a shtick? Is he doing it for TV? Is this actually how he is? So during a Q and A, I saw him speaking and, and during one of the Q and A, they said, okay, so you have this, you have this persona on, like on the TV show. Is this what you really are in real life? Question number two, question, or question number one. Question number two is like, I, I, that's not really real estate. That's not really professional. And he interrupted them uh, interrupted the, the questionnaire, uh, the person giving the question. And he said something very, very interesting. And he started bantering with the person. He said, what do you like when we're at a party? Well, I'm fun. I'm engaging. I'm exactly. And what do you want? What did you want out of real estate? Well, I wanted to be fun and get And he goes, yeah, exactly. How you act at a party and how you act with clients, it's sort of the same thing, obviously not as ridiculous, but that's what people like. Step from behind the suit and be who you are. And that, that like, I didn't, I didn't hear anything he said after that. And I was like, holy shit, I am putting on a facade. And yes, we've talked about Instagram facades and YouTube facades and, and you know, I, I'm ripped and everything else, but you see the person eating a lot of sugar, it's against what they actually talk about or they talk about being really rich and they're just faking all of it. That's Instagram, I'm not talking about that. I mean your actual persona is, and you don't have to be wearing a suit, you could just be wearing regular clothes, you don't have to be a male, like this is just anyone, is that bring your persona forward. Bring who you are forward. That's who we want to deal with. That's who we want to do business with. And I'm going to couple that with a podcast that I was listening to yesterday, and it was, it was absolutely brilliant. The guy said, I don't call it client appreciation parties. And this guy does roughly about a billion dollars in real estate business a year in California. And he said, I don't call it client appreciation. I don't call anyone a client. He goes, they want to be part of your social circle. They want to be your friend. And that really started clicking. I said, holy shit. I'm like, they actually, look, this is why, okay? If I look around, I'm surrounded by massive buildings behind this camera. I'm in New York City, I'm on the eighth floor and there's a, probably a 50 story, that's probably another 45 story building, that's probably a 30 story building. We're surrounded by people that go to jobs who, that they, they don't really like their job, they don't really like their boss, they don't like their career. Maybe there's something in their life that they're really questioning. We all have insecurities, we all have doubts, we all have just, what the fuck are we doing? Like, is this the right path and things like that? We're questioning ourselves all the time. And then you have this real estate show where you escape and you watch these three ridiculous people just with these, these massive personalities and you say, that sounds cool, that looks cool. I want my agent to be like that. Maybe not my agent to be like that. Yes, I want them to do the job, but I also want it to be fun and engaging. That's the experience. And by the way, this doesn't have to deal with real estate. This has to deal with just you in general, you as a person. It's just stop, 
stop fluffing your actual personality. Stop fluffing what you like in music. Stop actually molding around society and your friends and your girlfriend and your boyfriend and your boss and your manager. And I'm not saying just go and be a total nightmare to all of them. I mean, you like something or you don't like something, say it. You like this music, say it. If this is who you are, be it. And this isn't, you know, like I said, because this is why. And the reason I'm saying go a little bit more over the top because we're all putting on a facade. And for me, one of the biggest things is like, when you see me out, people, I, I actually got this comment. I was at a Tony Robbins event and we, I was the leader of the group and I, it was a business mastery actually. It was business mastery. I was the youngest in the group by far and probably not the most successful at the time. And I, they appointed, I was like, yeah, I'll be the leader of the group, not a big deal. And by, by week, so it's a week, by day seven, one of the guys came up to me and goes, dude, I, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't really like you in the beginning. I didn't actually want you to be the leader. I was like, oh, okay, you know, like I didn't, I didn't really care. And he, and he goes, here's why. I was like, oh, okay, you know, sure, why not volunteer the information? He goes, I just thought it was all facade. I thought all of your energy and all of your enthusiasm was just bullshit. I was like, really? He goes, yeah. And then by day four, I noticed this is who you are. This is who you are. And that hit me because it, it took me years. It took me probably two years from first hearing step behind the suit to actually being that person, to actually being who I am and being okay with it. Being that energetic person, being that person that's a little bit louder, being that, that guy that laughs really loud. Jeff Bezos has an obnoxiously loud laugh, all right? So I implore you today to actually be who you are in all scenarios, not just around your friends, not when you're singing to a music song in the shower or by yourself in your apartment. I mean in a business meeting, laugh, make jokes, because to be honest, there's not gonna be a time where you look back and you go, oh, I wish I wasn't having so much fun in life. I wish I wasn't having the, the experience that other people are not having. Listen, I deal with hundreds of people a week, probably thousands over the course of a month, definitely thousands over the course of a month. Most people have boring lives, like really boring lives. They wake up, they don't have sex, they don't go to the gym, they're not eating right, their kids are like, okay, here's my parents. And let's be honest, is that even with all this technology, even with all this wealth that we've created over the last 50 years, that hasn't actually increased the amount of happiness, all right? You have to make a choice, not only to be happy, but you have to make a choice to be who you are and be okay with it. It's a tough one to actually swallow, all right? So I implore you this weekend to go out and be yourself to step behind the, suit, behind the suit that you wear, the facade that you put on, and actually bring that forward and be that person, all right? So if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. We're gonna be getting not only 1% better, we're, we're switching everything up. Um, we're also gonna be having people write on iCharles.com. I switched up the website a little bit, uh, just a little bit, just so it's a little bit more friendly. Um, BPI. Media is actually coming out with a new website. So if you guys also want to go over and check out the real estate game that essentially makes me my money because this is not my career, then do that. It's All the links are below. Have an amazing day. Subscribe to the video. Leave your comments below. I'm going to be answering them because that's what my YouTube consultant told me. He said within one hour. Obviously, I'm not going to do it within an hour. I'll probably do it that day. Have an amazing day.